Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Ladi Meji Karim. Um, this afternoon I'll be interviewing Mr. Emeka Ike, um, a popular actor from Nigeria of very high repute who has acted in many movies uh, both in Nigeria and abroad. He's currently visiting Catherine in Northamptonshire in England to shoot a movie and uh, we managed to catch him somewhere in Catherine this afternoon and I thought I should ask him some questions for the benefit of our viewers and readers. Good afternoon Mr. Ike. Good afternoon Dr. Karim. It's really nice to have you in Catherine. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, so when Maybe we should start from your movie, the one you've come to Catherine to shoot. Okay. Um, roommates, I understand it is called. Uh, would you like to tell us how you got involved? No, it's a uh, housemate. Movie? Housemates, sorry, that's yes. my mistake. Okay. Housemates. Um, would you like to tell us how you came to get involved with this movie? Well, I think by recommendation, I just was doing my thing in Africa someday, and my phone just went off. Come on, and some producer called me from the UK and said I was recommended for the role. He liked my accent, that my accent is not uh, fake. And he liked my interpretation, the character in me, and that's what he wants. So, and I said, okay, fine, let's give it a shot. And he mailed me the script. Okay. And uh, did you like the script, the, the, the storyline of the, of the movie? That's the very reason why I'm here. Okay. Because, uh, in Hollywood, so many movies are made not because of the cost, I mean the price. But when you look at the script, you look at the director's projection, the, the script, the uh, scriptwriter's uh, projection, director's angle, you see that this, this is a good story that needs to be told. In a long time, I haven't done a thriller, a thriller. Right. I haven't done a horror movie. Mm -hmm. I did just one. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, Kula and Jama, and that was a hit in Nigeria. I've been looking for the producers who would uh, call for another thriller in a long time. And he's the first to call after like seven, eight years. Right. And so I feel, well, I should give it another shot. Okay, so the thriller part of the movie is what really attracted you having read the script. Now, and I know it's a mo movie in the making at the moment, so um, we won't want you to let the cat out of the bag and tell us the detail of the storyline. But do you want to just tell us a little bit of what excites your, the character that you'll be playing? What excites you about the character you'll be playing? Um, the character is a tormented one. But it's always funny when you're tormented and you don't know you you got issues. Mm. And in Nigeria they will say, are you in shit? Mm -hmm. so <laughs> I think I was being tormented and I, I never knew it. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the fans, my the viewers are going to like keep asking me to go to the left, don't go to the right. Oh no, Emeka, you know. So that's the thriller, that's the, the suspense, the suspense or yeah. the bait and all that. That's really right. what's gonna make it the catchy movie that okay. is tripping me. Right. And uh, we're hoping that once you complete the movie, you'll be kind of uh, to be debuting in Nigeria. Uh, or where are you going to be? Yeah. Uh, it. The movie should, it should go around because it's uh, coming from a young, talented, extremely talented director. Uh, honest, I'm not saying this to make him feel overblown or whatever. You see, he might not have done something that I know before now. But when you see dexterity, you can identify it. When you see a guy who is committed and focused and has been trained, then you see a professional, a full fledged. So the way he does his lighting, I'm like, oh my goodness. He was actually asking if I could stay a little bit wild so I could have him experience, I mean, expose his lighting ingenuity. Mm. I had to give him extra time. Yeah. Because I want him to achieve what's on his mind. Mm. And in doing that, the viewers have a huge movie to see. Okay. So we are expecting a good movie in Africa very pretty, I mean, pretty soon. And by the way, the director is Mr. Sonny Ache. Yeah, um, Sonny Ache. I'm hoping that we'll also be interviewing him separately oh, yes. as you continue to shoot the movie. All right, well, that's 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 great. So uh, I know you've been, you're well-traveled. You've been to many big cities all over the world. Uh, Catherine is a small market town in Northamptonshire. 
how do you find life here? You've been here for a few days. Oh, life here is very reserved. Yeah. You know, big boy life. When you make the money out there in the city, you hustled, you know, just got paid, you mm -hmm. come to catering and relax with your family. Then, you know, you're next to God here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take it you're enjoying it. Yes, yes, you have okay. a good relationship yeah, here with good, God. Yes. Good, good. Well, uh, if we leave that on one side and we just move on to talk a little bit about yourself, can you tell us your background, you know, you know, where are you coming from? Uh, my background, I'm a an Igbo boy born in, in Lagos. Like you, cra you, you might uh, claim to be a British, you might claim to be British by birth. So I could claim to be Lagosian or Yoruba by birth. Mm. Schooled in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Primary, tertiary, high institution, everything. I uh, uh, lived in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I mean, live in Lagos. You still live in Lagos? Still live in Lagos. Yes. My business is in Lagos. Yeah. Probably Nigerian. It's a criteria to be a Nigerian, so okay. that's me. I feel good about being a Nigerian. This is me. Okay. I'm America, all over the world, still okay. Nigerian. Okay. Are you married with children or? Yeah, I'm married with uh, three boys yeah. and a girl. The girl just came a month ago. Wow. So Uluwa Kemi. Uluwa Kemi. So that's your one month old daughter. Yes, that's my one, right. one month old Uluwa Kemi. Okay. Good. And um, apart from acting, um, what else do you do? Are you into any other kind of business that you want to share with us? Yes, I'm a Karike is an engineer. So uh, once in a while I run into an engineering projects. I also am an educationist by investment and I'm a businessman. Okay. And um, what do you do when you're not working? What, 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 what do you have interest in? What are your hobbies? Traveling, mm -hmm. being here, mm -hmm. you know, going to to hunt. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I like going to the shooting range. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my hobby. Okay. I don't like going to the club. Mm -hmm. I don't like going to big parties. Don't like going to where people get drunk mm -hmm. and say nasty things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like private life. Okay. Me and my God, me and myself. Good. All right. That's fine. Right. Interesting. And uh, as far as uh, Nollywood is concerned, what would you say about your co-actors and actresses? Who do you like working with? All of them. So Nollywood has achieved a feat for us all. So we should celebrate ourselves and not beef each other. So I work with every of my colleagues. And are you aspiring to work outside Nollywood, maybe go up to Bollywood or Hollywood to Liaise and work in collaboration with uh, other non Nollywood actors. I think I've done one like that, uh, Feet of Destiny, mm -hmm. where I work with uh, Jimmy Louis mm -hmm. of Fat Girls and Heroes, yeah. Akin Kazin, mm -hmm. Kara O'Brien, Richard Cotton, and uh, Ron Bush. Okay. I've done that, and this one will have a few of it's like a blend of Nollywood with Hollywood. Okay. Yeah. So we still, you know, it's a gradual, it's a procedural thing. We need to just keep, you know, taking the steps, one step at a time, mm -hmm. and we'll get there. Okay. Okay. Right. And in terms of food, what sort of food do you like to eat? Because I'm sure your fans will be out there will like to know little things like that. What is your favorite food, African and non-African? Favorite food, Foriro. Okay. I'm a Yoruba boy by, by, you know? <laughs> by extension. Oh, I love F4 Euro, man. Mm -hmm. I'm a Mala. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like Banga soup. Okay. Mm. What about non Nigerian? Um, well, maybe English breakfast. Okay. Um, you said that with a little bit of uh, yes, hesitation. I'm too, I, I'm too Africanized. Yeah. It's not like, you see, I try every food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try every food, and that's what every traveler should you know crave because sometimes you need to survive yeah. uh, outside your own meals mm -hmm. but somehow because I live in Africa there is no meal like African food so 
Anywhere I go, I ask them, where you is find it? Anywhere. Where is the African restaurant? <laughs> you look for it. <laughs> where is the African restaurant? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm exactly the same. And, you know, I've okay. been everywhere and this is what I do as well. I try to find Africa. Oh, you can help it. Right. Uh, just very briefly then, how about the new government in Nigeria? Good luck, Jonathan. What's your, what's your view about what they, they will be achieving in this <sighs> new dispensation in Nigeria? I call the good luck administration or government uh, the fresh breath in Nigeria mm. or in Africa. Mm. For the first time, an elite, okay. a true professor, mm. a red professor, not by doctorate, not getting your doctorate by uh, yeah, purchasing the certificate. No. A red proper educated educated professor, professor yeah. is heading the nation. I think this is the first time. Mm. As a Kiwi, I don't know, but I don't know such. He could have been some other educated person like mm. uh, Awolawa, mm -hmm. but they don't have. I don't think they will be as equipped as the modern day educated man. Yeah. So with. A good luck there where we we expect um, a new mindset to drive the various sectors in the nation. So we expect our expectations are high. We expect reformed economy, reformed lifestyle. Information in everything because right now we're already having a feel of it. It's like the breath, fresh breath of air is already, you know, well, it's welling. Yeah. And people are feeling it around. Like, sure. oh, like if you go to Lagos, yeah. the roads, you know, the aesthetics, everything is telling you that it can only get better. Yeah. Go to Abuja, mm -hmm. go to uh, Enugu, mm -hmm. you know, go to an Imo State, mm -hmm. what Rochas. Putting up, it's another mind like Mr. President, as the governor of the state, like Bashala. So we have, so we have a case where we have this crop of educated minds, elites, at the helm of affairs. Sure. So we expect expectations are high. Good things to come. Good things. Better okay. Things. Okay. And I think the rest of us Nigerians in diaspora um, also have very high hopes of this government. Um, we hope that um, they will bring good things to Nigeria, the roads will be repaired, the infrastructure will be put in place, and um, that Nigeria will progress like it should have progressed all these years. Not yeah. just that. Yeah. I also want you guys to also help us. Sure. Because we, we don't like it when we in Africa, we hear so many negative things about us on the internet from the Nigerians in the diaspora. They should also help us to cuddle their words, curb their words, curb their their black utterances. You know, every country has their own issues. You understand me? Sure. So the only way we can build a new nation is to also be part and not standing on the line and saying, "Let's see what's going to do." Sure. So we want you all to also turn in. Okay. Right, that's very great. Thank you, Mr. Emeka Ik. Uh, it's been nice talking to you this afternoon. Thanks for talking to Western African Magazine. Thanks, Dr. Curry. Nice to see you. Pleasure. Cheers. I'm online. Thank, Thank you. <laughs>